Despite four days of relentless search operations, all hope for the rescue of the stranded tourists began to fade. The devastating news came when the wreckage of a submarine, carrying five individuals, was discovered in close proximity to the iconic Titanic wreck. The tragic news of the passengers aboard the Bathyscaphe Titan was officially confirmed by the U.S. Coast Guard and representatives from Ocean Gate Expeditions. Among those on board were French Navy veteran Paul Henry Nargiol, British billionaire Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Daoud, and his 19-year-old son Suleiman. The expedition, led by OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, had been a venture centered around the Bathyscaphe, which Rush himself had constructed. Contact with the crew was lost on Sunday, June 18, a mere hour and 45 minutes after the dive had commenced. Subsequently, on Thursday, June 22, it was determined that the submarine had depleted its oxygen supply. However, new evidence has come to light, indicating that the tragedy may have occurred even earlier. U.S. Navy acoustics detected an explosion in the vicinity on the very same day as the dive. Immediately following the loss of communication with the ill-fated Titan, the military swiftly initiated monitoring of the Atlantic Ocean waters. Notably, they captured distinct sounds emanating from the depths of the ocean, approximately 650 kilometers southeast of Canada's Newfoundland. Utilizing a covert sonar system designed to detect enemy submarines, an explosion was registered just 500 meters from the location of the Titanic's wreckage. This meant that the affluent tourists, each having paid a hefty sum of $250,000 for the dive, tragically did not have the opportunity to witness the remains of the infamous liner. While these crucial pieces of information were promptly available to the search teams, the American authorities orchestrated an extensive and visually striking operation involving ships, aircraft, and advanced deep-water equipment from the United States, Canada, France, and Great Britain. Over the course of four days, they withheld information regarding the explosion, intentionally providing false hope to the victims' families and loved ones. According to the Daily Mail, officials from the U.S. Coast Guard have confirmed the unfortunate conclusion of the operation, as a remotely operated submarine deployed from a Canadian vessel discovered the wreckage of the Titan on the ocean floor. The prospects of recovering the bodies of the victims and bringing them to the surface are exceedingly slim. Deep sea expert Paul Hankin, who is actively engaged in the operation, explained the challenging circumstances, stating, it is an incredibly harsh environment at those depths. The condition of the wreckage suggests a catastrophic ship explosion. While we will continue our efforts to search the area below, at this point, I cannot provide a definitive outlook on the chances of success. Recent revelations indicate that the Bathus Cave Titan did not meet the necessary safety requirements and had not obtained proper certification. Shockingly, OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush deliberately concealed these deficiencies and assured the passengers that their lives were not at risk.